Hi, and thanks for choosing to watch this C-Logic video on the service calendar. In a previous video in this service calendar series entitled Setting up the service calendar in Microsoft Dynamics CRM, I showed you how you can set everything up ready to use the service calendar. And in this video, I'll run through how to actually schedule the services. Check out another video called Additional Service Calendar Functionality in Microsoft Dynamics CRM in which we'll look at some other useful, more advanced functionality. So the scenario is that we want to book a day's training for one of our customers. First we click on Service and then Service Calendar. On the ribbon we see three scheduling options. Appointment is just a standard appointment for a user and doesn't make use of the service option. New Service Activity is the first way to populate the service calendar, so let's click it. This is the best option if you know the whereabouts of people or you have a number of ad hoc services you like to schedule. Fill in the subject and then choose the service. For information you can do this by either using the lookup or typing the first few letters of the service and then clicking the lookup button. Select the customer that it is for. This can be any account or contact. Click in the resources box and note the form assistant on the right hand side changes. You can now select your trainer and the projector you want. Now enter your start and end date and time and you can also add a note and link it to another record in the regarding field if required. Click save and close and notice that we get a handy warning about a conflict so we can choose to ignore and save or we could reschedule. I'll just ignore and save for the sake of the video and if we then have a look back in the service calendar we can see the conflict and, and that one user has two appointments booked at the same time. So how can I avoid scheduling conflicts? Well this is where the full power of the service calendar comes into play. Let's now click schedule in the ribbon and notice that you can now get the initial schedule form and also a new schedule service dialog box. Add the customer the service is for. Add the service. And notice for this customer that former form assistant on the right is offering a suggestion as service preferences have been set in the customer account record. I'll however choose training day. Click in resources and again note the form assistant says who this customer's prefer and then I can choose the two resources I want either from here or from the full list below. Ignore site for the time being. Now we need to suggest a start date and a start time, so we'll choose next week. And note that the customer preferred day is Tuesday. We'll leave the start time however, as we know our training day lasts all day and starts at 9am. With that in mind, we'll also leave use default duration checked. Now we press the magic button find available times and the system tells us all the available slots that we can book. Note that if we only selected the actual trainer and not the projector then the suggestions include time for that trainer and both projectors. You can now simply check the one you want and click schedule. This now populates the schedule box and you can add a subject and any other info but notice that the important bits are all for, filled in for you. Click save and close and we can now see the activity in the resource calendar.
Also, as I have been selected as the trainer, it also puts an appointment in my calendar for me. Back in the service calendar, you can edit the activity by highlighting and clicking reschedule in the dynamic ribbon above. You can also change the status as well, or if you go into the record by double clicking on it, you can use the additional ribbon functionality as required. As you can see, the service calendar offers a fair amount of scheduling functionality and some further features are covered in another C-Logic video called Additional Service Calendar Functionality in Microsoft Dynamics CRM. It's well worth mapping out your sites, resources and services before setting them up. Remember to always read the help files if you have any problems, but in the meantime, thanks for watching this C-Logic video.